Hello everyone, I am Ghulam Abbas. I hope you guys are fine and doing great. Uh, I just downloaded the Windows 11 uh, 22,000.120. It is the latest version which Microsoft has released last night and uh, it is available in the beta and dev channel. Just go ahead to the settings if you have already installed Windows 11 and then get it on your computer. Okay, so uh let's just go ahead and take a look what are new in the latest version of the windows 11. the very first thing that is new it is a family widget so uh, from this widget by the help of this widget you can see any activity uh of the computers that have that are using the microsoft account that you have logged in them so if this widget is not available just click click add widget and from there you can simply click on the plus icon and it will be available in the widget section uh unfortunately i have not set the family widget and besides i'm the only one in the entire house that is using computer so you can set it up yourself and then try how it looks i'm sorry that i cannot use it for you okay the second thing is that microsoft has added a new uh, notification to the chat app so it is microsoft team when someone messages you a notification will appear like a number one two or three you will see that here but unfortunately right now there is no one that has messaged me so uh it is for example that no one has done it so and the third thing that microsoft has added and provided that is a new desktop sorry i mean you can change the desktop wallpaper directly from the desktop so you can see that if i have to if i want to change the desktop wallpaper just right click on it and choose choose background so you can do it uh, directly from the uh, desktop there uh, i'm not saying that in the previous editions of the windows 11 it is not available yeah it was available but in the other uh it was available if you want to change the background you have to go to the manual to the desktop right click and then go to the personalize and change the background but inside the current edition you can just simply right click in the uh, here from the desktop management window just right click and choose the desktop that you want to change the background okay the uh, fourth thing that microsoft has added it is a minor update or better yet a small update into the microsoft store and that is uh, you can see that uh this line or you can i don't know animation you may say when it's coming to the end it is moving to the next next category and the same thing goes for the next one so you can say just like a slideshow microsoft has provided it here and beside them microsoft has provided a new rating system for the application and it is very easy compared to the uh, older version of the microsoft store and unfortunately this is not available on every application some are responsive and some of them are not responsive i hope microsoft will fix it so and they have also added a new very small when you hover your mouse on the app you will see that uh, uh, close button here you can just simply close it from the taskbar itself okay these are the minor updates here however there are also some other minor changes inside the windows settings and they are looking kind of cool and they are amazing okay the very first thing is that microsoft has added a new feature inside the storage and that is the cleanup recommendation it is not it was not available in the previous editions uh when you click on it it is going to uh, bring all the temporary files that are available and beside large and synced files and unused application you can just simply click on them and uninstall them and from here you can also just simply uninstall them uh, and beside if you think that uh, these are not enough you can just simply visit the advanced option directly from here and then from there you can uh, clean up the uh, all the temporary files that are available on the computer that is new inside the current edition of the windows 11 okay there is also a new thing and that is if you go to the apps uh, apps and feature microsoft has added in a category of more settings in the archive apps so the apps that you are not using by default uh 
Microsoft is going to archive them and it is going to save some space bandwidth and other stuff so that is new and that finally there is another option inside the network uh, if you go to the Ethernet and from there you will see that authentication setting is available now in the home users uh, they are not using it a lot but inside the businesses uh, people are using it a lot so when you enable it it's going to enable IEEE 802.1x uh, authentication you can configure the settings uh, then the device can connect to the computer or to the network so it will be a very good thing for a security part uh, businesses are using it a lot it is good and uh, I think that is pretty much all and uh, there are also some minor updates in the, this PC but uh, unfortunately it is not very responsive so sometimes it is showing and sometimes it is not showing um, I hope Microsoft is going to fix those issues and finally if you are wondering how to get it you can just simply go to the Windows settings and Windows update and from there you can just simply click check for updates and you can download the currently built edition of the Windows 11 from here. However, if you are using Windows 10 or any other edition of Windows or operating system like Linux, macOS or whatever, you want to test it out inside a virtual machine, you can get the ISO of the Windows 11 from here into zoom.com. Just simply search into zoom.com on the web. Uh, and I have already pinned a post here. So the post is download win 11 iso image legally okay once you open this post uh, i have explained several methods here where you can use them uh, to download windows 11 legally in other words uh, illegally also and in the end i've also provided the download link for the windows 11 uh, latest version uh, it is the windows level uh, pro 22.51 iso it is look, uh, uploaded in the Google Drive and here is the 22,000.100 and 120 uh, it is four part but it is not available in every country because these links are taken from the Iranian website so and here's also the Windows 11 22,000.71 it is the unlocked edition it is for those computers uh, that their computers do not have TPM 2.0. You can just simply download it, create a bootable USB of uh, it using Rufus legacy boot, and then just simply install it on the computer. You won't face this PC can't install Windows 11 error. Okay, and uh, here is part one and then part two, you can also download the torrent file. Uh, it is available. So at the moment, those of you who are interested, they can just completely here, come here and download the Windows 11 ISO 22,000.100, sorry, 51 ISO. Uh, and these links are only available into certain regions like Afghanistan, Iran, uh, Pakistan, and India. In the other countries, they are not available. So I am sorry for that one, but still you can use it uh, to get the Windows 11 and test it out how it looks. So, I hope you like this video. Do not forget to subscribe into our YouTube channel and I will meet you guys in the next video. So, have a nice day and goodbye.